In this video, I will be creating the rolling three-year beta for a company. In this case, I'm going to do Walmart. So if you go into finance.yahoo.com, it will bring up the Yahoo Finance page. I'm going to type in WMT for my company, Walmart. <clears throat> so there's Walmart. <clears throat> so what we want to do here is the historical data. So we'll click on historical data. And that brings up the historical stock prices of Walmart. So what we want to do is click on historical prices. When you click on that, it will bring up some dates to choose from. And we want to click on the word max. So click on max and notice it takes us back to 8-25-1972. So I've, I'm writing that date down. That'll help me when I bring in the S&P 500. So click done. And then we want monthly data. So on frequency, click on monthly. And click apply. And we'll update your data. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is click on the download data. So now we have <clears throat> the file. So I'll click on that and we'll load Walmart's data back to 1972. So when you bring this data up, I'll click on the, the A column so I can expand out the dates. The only price we need is the adjusted close. So I'm going to highlight columns B, C, D, and E and right click and tell it to delete. I'm going to click on the volume column and delete that. So we have a, our adjusted close I'm going to type Walmart's ticker at the top of that so I know that's Walmart so to do a beta we need our company but we also need the stock market so I'll go back to Yahoo Finance and click on on up here we have the S&P 500 so I click on the S&P 500 <clears throat> and I will be doing the exact same thing with the S&P 500 that I did with Walmart so click on historical data <clears throat> and we'll bring up those historical prices and <clears throat> when the historical prices come up <clears throat> I'm going to click on the dates and I know that Walmart started August 25th 1972 and so when I get the dates I'll click on the dates and on the starting date Okay, just a second, waiting for it to load. Okay, on the starting date, I will, instead of 8-25-1972, I'll start the end of the month prior to that. So since Walmart started August 25th, 1972, I'm going to type 0731-1972. And click Done. Again, on the frequency, you want to change that to monthly, and then apply. And once it applies, then we will download the data. <clears throat> and so when the file is ready, I, I click on that, and it will open it up, give me the historical data. <clears throat> I'll do the exact same thing for the S&P that I did for Walmart. I'll run out the dates, get rid of everything but the adjusted close, so delete those columns, delete column C, and I'm going to now do go to the first date and click Control and Shift. I hit my down arrow and the right arrow, lift up on Control and Shift, and then do Control C to copy, and I'm going to take that and go back over to my Walmart file, and I'm going to go right next to the Walmart's first price and hit the enter button to bring over those dates. Then I'm going to go to the first date for the S&P 500 and do control, not control shift, but just control, and control, control and a down arrow and make sure I'm lined up. And you can see November for some reason comes in there twice. We don't want November because um, November is not over yet, so I'm just going to select, uh, I don't know why it gave me two Novembers, but select the two Novembers and just hit delete. And then control 
and up so I'm up at the top we don't need <clears throat> the dates for the S&P we brought them in just to make sure we're lined up with Walmart so I'm gonna type S&P 500 so now I have prices for Walmart and for the S&P so I'm going to copy those titles over to D and E and I'm going to create returns for the return the return <coughs> will equal open parentheses ending market value minus beginning market value close parentheses divided by beginning market value for each one of these months so for Walmart for the first month I'll do equal open parentheses go over and get Walmart's ending market value for September 1972 minus the beginning market value close parentheses divided by the beginning market value I realize the months say that it's September 1st 1972 but just ignore that it's actually September 30th it's just the way um, Yahoo Finance brings over the, um, the data I'm gonna click my home button and click on the percent and give it two decimal places I'm going to take that formula and drag it over for S&P and then find that bottom right corner of that and double click on that so it copies that down all the way down. So I have monthly returns for Walmart and the S&P. So now what I want to do is a rolling three year beta for Walmart so to find the three years I'll type a 1 <clears throat> next to the September and then I'll, on the next next to October I'll do equal that plus 1 and I'm going to copy that down about 30 something rows just to count the rows because 3 years a 3 year rolling beta would be 36 months so we go down 36 months you can see there's where the 36 month is so we can get rid of everything up all those numbers above that I'll just use control shift and go up get rid of the one below it and so then I do I'm in the row that's the 36 month here it happens to be row 38 it will probably be row 38 for you as well then I'm going to use the, the beta function, which in Excel is equal S L O P E slope, open parentheses, highlight Walmart, go over to Walmart, do control shift in the up arrow, then hit your comma, go over to the SMP column, do control shift up, close parentheses, and that's your beta for three months ending August 1975. I'm going to click on the comma make it a, a comma no two decimals so 1.54 I'm gonna come down to the bottom right and double click that so I'll copy it all the way down and then what we want is the median the median is the 50th percentile so I'll type 0.5 in G37 I want the 90th percentile I'll put that in H37 and the 10th percentile I'll put that in I37 so we're going to use the equal percentile function you highlight that go over to the rolling betas the control shift down lock it in so lock in the F in both places and then do comma and go up to the point go up to the point five comma the point five so make sure the F's are locked in close parentheses so the median for that whole period was 0 0.9 I'm then going to drag that over if you locked in the F's it will work and so you see in the first cell it's percentile F38 through F568 comma G37 your firm depends on how many months it has we'll go go down um, 
more or less rows. And then G37 is at 0.5. When you go over to the H column, it's the same thing, except for now it's referring to the 0.9. And when you go over to the 10th percentile, it's the exact same thing, except for now it refers to the 0.1. And then in G39, I'm just going to do equal and reference the 50 percentile, that 0.9. I'll drag that over. So I've got that all the way across, and I'll double click that. And now I've got all my data. So I'm going to go to the very first rolling beta, do Control Shift down and right. And I'm going to insert a graph. And it will bring up this rolling beta graph. I'll change the title to be Walmart Rolling Three Year Beta, parentheses monthly data. So we know we're using monthly data. You will get different answers whether you use monthly or, or weekly. I'm then going to right click on the graph and do select data. And what I need over here on the horizontal, the x-axis, I'm going to click edit that. I'm going to do control ups from the top of that data. Come over to A38, do control shift and down and highlight all of that. <clears throat> and that gives me my dates. I'm now going to move this whole file, this whole graph. I'm going to move chart to a new sheet so I can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do is I'll click on the y-axis hit my home button and I'll make that a larger font and probably bold it as well come down to the dates I'll right click on the dates and I'll format axis for the x-axis you come down here on labels if you click on the labels you want to make that low and then click on number and I recommend you use YYYY you click on that and add and then you've got your x-axis you probably want to increase, increase the font there as well and bold it I'm going to take my title and increase the font there bold and italicize a little bit larger and the only thing left to do is the is the uh, legend so on the legend I'm gonna right click select data so series one I want to edit that and make that the rolling three year beta click OK on series two and click on that and edit it. I want that to be the median. Click OK. The third series, that is the 90th percentile. Click OK. The very, very last one is the 10th percentile. Click OK and OK. And so let me take my legend, maybe move it up, make the font a little bit larger here as well. So there's our final chart. You can see with Walmart, the median is 0.9, but you notice its beta was much higher when it was a smaller company, which is not abnormal. So for Walmart, I would probably use a 0.7 beta. It's been lower than that here recently. Its final beta, a 0.61, um, is a little low, I think, for a beta. One thing you can do if you go back to Yahoo Finance, uh, the screen that comes up will give you the rolling, the, the last three-year beta for your company. If you click on the summary chart there, it will bring up Walmart's beta. And you can see its beta 
three year monthly which is exactly what we're doing this is just one point the last point in your graph it may be slightly different but you can see for Walmart it was 0.65 our last number was 0.61 so it's it's close enough it'd be slightly different because they're pulling data probably on a daily basis but going back three months and we're using the actual um, month in data but it should be very very close so um, our data when we go down if I just do control down our very last beta is 0.61 and that compares very well to the 0.65 that shows in Yahoo Finance so it gives us some practice so once you've done that you've got the chart and this is the chart you want to use <clears throat> Um, when uh, comparing the historical rolling beta for your company versus your overall assessment for the company. Thank you.